Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is August 31st, 2023, and it's reported that Barcelona have reached a personal agreement with Joao Felix. Also, the club met today with Abde and his representatives in order to sort out his future. And finally, Barcelona are currently in advanced talks to sign one of the most exciting players currently in the MLS. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Mo. And before we begin with the news, just a quick reminder to make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It's completely free, it only takes a second. And in doing this, you will be helping this small and humble channel continue to grow. Also, if you are looking for any Barcelona jerseys or merchandise, make sure you hit the get back. And if you are looking to place any sports bets, make sure you hit the bet us. Both links are down below in the description. Now, beginning with the news that today UEFA held the 2023-2024 draw in order to determine which teams will be in which groups during the group stages. And Barcelona drew Group H where they will face off against the Portuguese club Porto, the Ukrainian club Shakhtar Donetsk, and finally the Belgian club Royal Antwerp. Now, no offense to any of the teams in Barcelona's group because after all, we should never undermine any UEFA Champions League team because after all, these are the best 32 teams in Europe. Also, anything can happen in the UEFA Champions League. It is a short tournament where things can go bad, such as a bad referee call or injuries that can completely knock you out of the tournament. And finally, there have been plenty of instances of smaller teams eliminating bigger teams. But having said all of that, I think that Barcelona have absolutely no excuses to get out of the group stages. And hopefully, they'll also be able to qualify to the knockout stages at the top of their group. Now the Champions League group stages will begin on September 19th and they will go all the way to December 13th. And I must say, I'm very excited for the Champions League tournament to begin. Now speaking of UEFA, the European governing body issued today the awards for best players in Europe. And I'm proud to announce that Barcelona's Aitana Bonmati has won the UEFA Women's Best Player of the Year. So congratulations to the Barcelona player who last season was able to lift the Women's Champions League, the Women's La Liga Trophy, and also the Spanish Super Cup with FC Barcelona uh, for the women's team of FC Barcelona, also known as the Barca Femini. And also Aitana Bomati was one of the players that lifted the Women's World Cup with the Spanish national team. Now, as I reported in yesterday's live stream, Ferran Olivier and Jean Laporte have decided to put money out of their own pocket in order to guarantee the registration of Inigo Martinez and Iñaki Peña, as Barcelona have yet to receive that money from the activation of the economic lever. Now, Barcelona sold 9.8% of Barca Vision to the German investment fund Libero for 40 million euros, where Libero were supposed to pay Barcelona an initial 20 million euros, which they have yet to do, despite Barcelona giving them several deadline extensions, with today, Thursday, August the 31st, being one of those deadline extensions. And I'm here to report that Libero have not paid Barcelona 20 million euros, but, uh, which Barcelona absolutely need in order to register the contracts of Inigo Martinez and Iñaki Peña, and also to register the contract of Joao Cancelo. But no worries because Barcelona do have a plan B in place where Jean Laporta and Ferran Olivier have agreed to put money out of their own pocket as a guarantee for the registration of these players. And it's reported that La Liga have approved this guarantee and all the paperwork is completely done. So as soon as Laporta and Olivier give the green, uh, give the green light, uh, this guarantee will go through allowing Barcelona to register the contract of these players. Now, if Libero end up paying Barcelona the money that they owe them, or if Barcelona end up scrapping the whole deal and signing a new deal with a new investor, then Laporta and Olivier will get their money back, as Barcelona will be able to register the contract of these players with the 20 million euros that they are set to receive. Now, speaking of Joao Cancelo, it's been confirmed that the Portuguese fullback has officially landed in the city of Barcelona in order to undergo his medical exams and where it's expected that he will be signing his contract tomorrow, September 1st, 
and he will officially become a Barcelona player. Now, as I reported in a previous video, Barcelona will be signing João Cancelo on a one-season loan with no option or obligation to buy, because even though Barcelona had negotiated an option to buy worth 25 million euros, La Liga's financial fair play rule restrictions forbade, forbade Barcelona from including this option to buy, and therefore Barcelona will be signing João Cancelo on a one-season loan with no option or any obligations to buy. Now, speaking of confirmations, as I reported in yesterday's live stream, Ansu Fati had reportedly decided to join the Premier League club Brighton. And well, today this news has been officially confirmed as Barcelona, Brighton and Ansu Fati have finalized the agreement in the early hours of today's morning. And as Ansu Fati has officially left the city of Barcelona and headed towards London when he, where he will be joining his new team. Now, Ansu Fati will be joining Brighton on a one season loan until the summer of 2024 with no option or obligation to buy. And where Brighton have agreed to cover 80% of the player's salary, which is estimated to be around 12 to 16 million euros gross, which includes both fixed and variable amounts. Now, as I said in yesterday's live stream, even though I prefer Ansu Fati to stay in Barcelona, I think this will be a good loan for uh, a good loan season for him because after all, Brighton are known to developing young, talented players. So under the management of Brighton's coach, plus all the minutes that Ansu Fati will be getting, I have no doubts that this will help him tremendously recover his old form and hopefully he can come back next season um, as a much better player and much stronger and ready to reclaim his spa as one of the crown jewels of La Masia. Now, speaking of Ansu Fati leaving the club, as I reported in yesterday's live stream, with the space that Ansu Fati will be leaving in Barcelona's wage bill, Barcelona are hoping to fill that space with the signing of Joao Felix. And I am here to announce that Barcelona have officially reached a personal agreement with the Portuguese player. Now, Jean Laporta has been trying to sign Joao Felix for quite some time as he's a big fan of the player and he also thinks that signing Felix would be a good marketing move. And after Xabi gave the green light to Barcelona, it's reported that Barcelona have reached a personal agreement with Joao Felix so he can join Barcelona on a one season loan. Now, Joao Felix has been insisting during the entire summer transfer market that not only does he want to leave Atletico Madrid, but that the only club he will be joining is FC Barcelona. And as I also reported previously, the player has agreed to even reduce his salary in order to make the signing happen. And today it's been announced that Joao Felix is willing to reduce his salary by, by as much as 30% in order to help Barcelona register his contract. Now, the only hurdle left right now is for Barcelona to reach an agreement with Atletico de Madrid because the Madrid-based club are insisting that they want an eight to nine million euro loan fee. However, Barcelona want a one season loan with no other conditions, no obligation to buy, no option to buy, and no loan fee. And Barcelona will not be making any moves and they will be waiting until the final hours of the summer transfer market in hopes that Atletico Madrid will get desperate enough and will agree to Barcelona's terms. Now on to the news that Barcelona held a meeting today with Abde and his agents in order to figure out his future. Now as I reported previously, Abde has informed Barcelona that he wants to leave the club because he wants a guarantee of playing time. And today, Barcelona have met with Abde and his agents where they reiterate his position from before, which I told you about during the live stream, which that Barcelona would prefer the player to stay. Xabi Hernandez wants the player to stay. However, if the player does want to leave, that is going to have to be on a permanent transfer and not on loan. Now, Barcelona are opposed to loaning Abde because as far as the financial fair play rule restrictions, Abde's salary is very small, so him leaving on loan and clearing his wage of the Barcelona wage bill will not help the club at all. However, if he is transferred permanently, then Barcelona are looking to make around 25 to 30 million euros, which of course would be a huge boost for Barcelona in terms of the financial fair play rule restrictions. Now, Abde's agents are insisting that the player wants to go on loan because he has some pretty good loan, uh, loan offers from clubs such as Sevilla and Real Betis. However, Barcelona, again, do not want to let player leave on loan and if he wants to leave it will have to be on a permanent transfer and there are some clubs in the Premier League who are willing to pay a permanent transfer uh, fee however Abde prioritizes staying in Spain so for now it's looking like Abde will most likely be staying in Barcelona because I don't see any 
uh, any clubs offering the 25 to 30 million euros that Barcelona are asking for, especially with there being very few hours left in the summer transfer market. Plus also Abde has not really proven himself on a big stage, so I don't really see any clubs in Spain wanting to pay that much money for the Moroccan winger. Now we will end today's video with the news that Barcelona are in advanced talks to sign one of the most exciting players in the MLS, whose name is Mamadou Fall. And Mamadou Fall is a 20 year old center back who currently plays for LA uh, Football Club or LAFC. And it's reported that Barcelona are in advanced talks to sign the player on a one season loan with an option to buy for the Barca Athletic. Now it's also reported that Villarreal are currently in the race for the young player where he actually spent last season there on loan um, with the Villarreal B. So we're gonna have to see which club the player will end up choosing, but there are plenty of reports guaranteeing that Barcelona will most likely end up winning this race and signing one of the most exciting talents in the American League. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. Also, I'd like to invite all of you to please leave a comment down below, giving me all your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you. And finally, I would like to invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you can stay current on all the latest news in regards to our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And as always, Bisca Barça.